Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everyone. All right, I'm a, I'm a former teacher. We're going to try that one more time. Good evening, everyone. Excellent. Thank you. My name is Stephanie Vestal. I am a second year student here at the Clinton School for Public Service. My experience here at the Clinton School has been everything I could have dreamed and more. I've expanded my mind and my skills in the classroom and through my field service opportunities. It's also been my honor to serve on the Clinton School Student Government Association for my two years here and this year as president. As the Clinton School grows, so is our SGA. And we have been busy over the past two years building community among ourselves and within Little Rock. Last year, our Spring Unity Festival raised hundreds of dollars and collected several boxes of donations for Lucy's Place, North Little Rock Animal Shelter, and the Arkansas Food Bank supporting victims of their tornado. Our organizational goals are to foster community among our students and provide opportunities for our students to participate in service and social events and become more connected and involved in the Little Rock and Central Arkansas community. As a club, we've become more independent and self-sustaining over the years as we continue to build systems that retain our institutional knowledge. This year, our SGA has been more active than ever. We have participated in service and social events across, social, across Central Arkansas and within our Clinton Center community, ranging from Central Arkansas Pride, the American Foundation of Suicide Prevention's annual Out of the Dark Walk. We've volunteered at Mosaic Templar Cultural Center and at Dunbar Gardens. We also recently organized a fundraiser with Chipotle that raised over $700 to support the efforts of our SGA. Thank you. Thank you to many people in this room who attended. So collectively, our SGA has organized dozens of opportunities for students to serve and create fellowship with each other. Our students have served over 300 hours of community service this year alone. That's while maintaining a rigorous academic and field service schedule. Our SGA works beyond service and social too. We aim to respond to the needs and wants of our student body, and this year we've expanded our committees, outreach and communication, and the types of events we put on. Dean Soto has been a champion of students and the SGA in her time here. In response to students desiring more community, the Dean has invested her time and funds over the past year to support and enhance our student experience. She's redesigned this space here at Sturgis Building to be a more appealing environment for our students to meet, to study, and to work. On Friday, she purchases lunch for our students for SGA meetings, and the school hosts Lunch and Learns, again, with free lunch, for students to hear from alumni and other guest speakers. We see a theme, yes. As our school continues to grow and flourish under Dean Soto's leadership, we know that our Student Government Association will continue to oversee the interests of our students, advocate for student concerns, and serve the students by hosting ac activities and events that enhance our community and student life. And now it is my pleasure to introduce our Dean, Victoria Di Francesco Soto. Thank you, Steph. And one of my successes, or the school's successes, is that we've gotten Steph to stay after she graduates. So for those of you who don't know Steph, she's an East Coaster, Northeasterner, through and through, but the Clinton School does what it does, and it attracts and retains our rock star talent. So, welcome to Arkansas. Uh, and, and I want to begin by saying thank you to all of you here for coming tonight, but for showing up continually, because all of you in this room, it's not just a one and done. You have supported the school and you have supported me continually. So for that, I am deeply, deeply grateful. I also am grateful for some of the special guests with us here tonight. We have Dr. Don Bobbitt, the president of the University of Arkansas System. I've, you moved, Michael. Dr. Michael Moore, also from the University of Arkansas System. University of Arkansas Board of Trustee, Colonel Nate Todd. <laughs> Up from Northwest Arkansas, we have a representative, Representative Nicole Clowney. <laughs> and as of last night, we have a new elected official among us, our very own Director of IT, 
Steve Person. So, Steve, I, you said in January you're going to start your term as Justice of the Peace District 5. Uh, all right, so I'm going to get to it, make it as quick as I can because we have adult beverages and some nibbles. Uh, but last year, a little over a year ago, to be exact, on February 9th, I stood up here and I said, I'm committed to providing transparency for this community. And so every year that we will do a state of the school. And again, I'm a political scientist, so I love the thought of a state of the union, state of the school. And I, I'm, I'm holding firm to that commitment and reviewing what we've done last year and also charting the course for what we're doing. Steph mentioned this. This was first on my list. The visible changes. The space around us, we have given Sturgis a refresh. One of the things I'm proudest of is creating a community space, a break room for students, for our community to engage. We have received uh, support in order to do a state-of-the-art refurbish of our main classroom here in Sturgis. Uh, we have next on the list, so next State of the Union, I'll be able to brag about the reading room update, and the plants that you see here, it's a very long story, but thank you, Mallory Mounts, our director. You, uh, you have saved us a lot of money, so fiscal conservatism here. Uh, and also, our virtual presence has changed. If you haven't visited our website lately, please do so. It is awesome. And it was a Herculean effort led by Patrick Newton, our Director of Communications, and Steve Person to just really reflect who we are, the vibrancy and the dynamism of the Clinton School. The visible changes also include new faces. We have our first postdoc at the Clinton School, Sunny, uh, who works with the Open Governance Lab. We also welcome Rachel Villafan, who is our Enrollment and Student Services Manager, as well as Rachel <laughs> Norris. Rachel Norris, I saw you. The Rachel Norris, uh, with our Office of Field Service, you've hit the ground running. And the other faces that make me so happy are the faces of our students. You are why we're here. And having you with us and supporting your growth is the mission of the school and all of us here today in community. The not so visible changes, right? So these are pretty apparent. But the changes that you may not see are the institutional ones. And if I had to describe my second year at the Clinton School, I'm going to use one word, and that's institutionalization. So as we approach our first 20 years and set the course for the next 20 years, I want to make sure that we have the institutions in place to take us to where we need to go. So this past year, the Clinton School revised our governance documents. It was a lot of work, and it was super boring. All right, so huge shout out to our faculty for doing that and to Dr. Moore for your guidance and patience on that. Also something I'm very proud of is that we got the green light from a major accrediting institution, the Network of Schools of Public Affairs, Public Service, Public Administration, NASPA, to uh, commence this process. It's gonna be an 18 to 24 month process and Dr. Al Bavon is leading the charge with that. Thank you, Dr. Bavon. Uh, on the programmatic front, uh, last year I commenced uh, a comprehensive review of our online program, our Clinton School Online. About six years in, what's working, what's not working, what do we need to fix, what do we need to amplify? A uh, lot of good stuff we found from doing one-on-one -on -one interviews with faculty, alumni survey, focus groups with students. There's a lot here. I'm not going to for you with the details. But a couple of things we've already done in response to this is we've hired a dedicated student success coach. We have instituted in-person starts so we can build community. And in the medium term, we're going to move to a semester base instead of consecutive eight-week courses. So major revisions that folks said they needed and we want to respond in kind. Uh, other things. We just added a new joint degree, the Executive Masters in Business Administration, as well as a Social Entrepreneurship Certificate Program that we are launching next year. On the organizational front, 
our development work continues. Again, I'm looking here at you, Mallory. Um, big thank you to you and to the Clinton School Dean's Advisory Board. And I see Spencer Lucker, who has entered the building <laughs> and wears two hats as a member of the Dean's Advisory Board and a beloved alumni of the Clinton School. So thank you for your help in helping us chart the development path. Uh, we had our first ever matching campaign, far surpassed expectations. We had a donation from an alum and then another alum matched that and then we were able to keep going and matching and raising more money. And this is really important because it all goes to scholarships. Uh, our alumni organization continues to solidify. We conducted our first ever alumni uh, sector research report, I guess we could call it. What are alumni doing? What sectors are they in? You know, really important information as we're talking to prospective students. Uh, Mallory and I also met with all of the classes, class one through 17 virtually. Uh, we're not gonna do it again this year, but we're instituting, <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna give it a, a two or three years, but we instituted a book club, an alumni book club, a quarterly book club. So I hope you do, I'm looking at my alumni over here, <laughs> not to put you on the spot or anything. Steph, you stole my thunder on the SGA. Uh, I was, I was going to go through here because this really speaks to my mission of wanting to institutionalize what we're doing at the Clinton School, and the SGA has been able to do that. So we've been able to do that through the leadership of Steph and the different committees and all of the members, um, an additional committee, working with me to best understand student needs, in particular international student needs, the needs of second years who are going out on the job market. You have been such an ally in me thinking through those things. And our faculty, as I conclude, I promised I would keep it short. Uh, this was a really important year for Clinton School faculty. Uh, late last year, we launched the Arkansas Civic Health Index Report. Dr. Robert Richards, <laughs> wow. And, and this was, and, and it, it was a community effort. So we had Dr. Robert Richards and Dr. Tool Park lead that effort along with alumni and students and really a remarkable piece of research that is going to have impact throughout until we do the next one. So uh, also uh, Dr. Robert Richards, Dr. Chul Park and Dr. Nicola Driver published an important piece on Centering Pregnancy Journal of Public Health uh, that is a great piece of research, but is vitally important to the conversations about why women are dying here in Arkansas and across the nation. Uh, the Racial Healing Project continues to grow and to expand later this month. Dr. Charlotte Williams is going to be hosting the second cohort of racial healing uh, leaders, and Dr. Albavon has completed a textbook in program planning. It is, when is it going to be out? Um, will it be out in time for our book club next? All right. Stay tuned. Uh, and then I, I've got to brag on Dean Susan Hoffpower, who later this month will be inducted into the Arkansas chapter of the National Association of Social Workers Hall of Distinguished Leaders. I'm so proud of what we do. And I'm thrilled for being recognized publicly about what we do, right, in terms of our, our national peers, in terms of philanthropic institutions, in key stakeholders. I, I mean, this is great, don't get me wrong. But what truly fulfills me and gets me going day to day is knowing that the work we do as faculty, as staff, as alumni, as students, is about making an impact in our community, about making an impact in our community here in central Arkansas, in the state, in the nation, and in the world. So I thank you all for your impact and your work and being part of this community. Gracias.